Hey, hello everyone, Daniel here, and today we're going to be taking a crack at the new Eldorado stages that IGG introduced in their newest update. I did beat it with the 3 star once, I wasn't able to replicate it, which is why it took so long to actually get this video out for you guys. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and jump into this and see what I did. Alright, and as you can see, they do start at the top, and when the heroes immediately start off, they go ahead and activate the great stage skill and lock up the heroes. But, but I put my heroes in specific places in order to try to go ahead and combat this. And in this stage, I use a lot of bows. My strongest bow goes on my Ambrosia because she does attack the fastest and she has the longest range. But I do also use two other bows. I use a blue bow and then I use a green bow as well. And the main goal of this stage, just because I don't have super overpowered heroes that are light in 25 and all of that, I'm going for a timeout strategy. I'm going for a slow timeout strategy. That way, based on the rules of El Dorado, where as long as none of your heroes die, and as long as the key building isn't destroyed, most of the time it's your town hall. In this case, it's just that one measly little sniper. But as long as none of your heroes die, as long as the key building isn't destroyed, you'll get a 3 star, even if it times out. So that's what I'm going for this time. I'm going for as much thorn belt action as possible. The only thing you do have to worry about though, even with going for this strategy, is to go ahead and knock the heroes into the wrong section. For example, where my Pangoli is on the left, if you put a thorn bow on him, and then put, and then he knocks the hero into the center lane. That'll be really dangerous because they'll go ahead and skip the path that they're on now. And they'll go ahead and just go straight to that sniper. And believe me, they can knock out that sniper insanely fast. They can knock it out incredibly fast. Which is why it's super dangerous. And you need to go ahead and stop them from getting to that center lane as much as possible. The heroes I use are Pangoli, Ambrosia, Rene Van, Toxic Shaman, and Ironclad. Obviously for Ambrosia, for the reason I mentioned before, she attacks fast, and that in combination with the Thorns Bow makes this strategy essential. Another hero I use is Pangoli, purely for his Divine, because unfortunately I don't have him Enlightened, which will really help in my opinion for this stage. But I still use him for his divine, and then I use Rene Ven for another Pangoli divine as well, just to go ahead and keep the heroes at bay. One other hero I use is Toxic Shaman, and the reason I use him is to go ahead and get rid of all the mercenaries, so that the heroes can actually focus on the enemy heroes and push them back, as well as providing a slow effect to go ahead and help slow down the heroes and just keep them slowed down keep them not moving very fast so my heroes can have more time attacking them. And then the reason I'm including Ironclad is because if his Divine, basically like an oh crap Divine, I can go ahead and activate Divine on any heroes that enter the middle lane, which one hero does in this video. But I'll go ahead and activate his Divine, basically stun them until my heroes can go ahead and aggro onto him, aggro onto the hero that's in the middle lane, and then go ahead and deal with them that way. But that's going to go ahead and just be the sum of this video. And I'll go ahead and just let this video finish out. And I hope you enjoy.
I'm gonna go ahead and show the hero aids I had. I'll go ahead and start off with Toxic Shaman. Go ahead and show what I have on him. I have Berserker, Skull Mage, and Sapphirix. Now, for this stage, you're gonna need Berserker on each different hero. Go ahead and stop them being one-shotted by the enemy Great Sage each time. So you're gonna need a Berserker on each hero. And I ran Skull Mage and Sapphirix just to get a little bit extra damage out of his skill. Because you may have seen at the end of the video where he actually managed to kill some of the heroes. And that's what I went it for, just a little bit more damage for that. And then for Pangoli, we have Berserker, we have Bullhead, and we have Hydrosaur. Bullhead and Hydrosaur, just to go ahead, to a little bit more damage again. Bullhead to stack the damage. And then for Ironclad, I kind of put the random assortment of crap A's that I have left over. I put Berserker, Abyss Demon, and Wrath. But then we were going for Ambrosia. I put Chiron. Berserker and Blockhead. The main selling point that's needed is Blockhead. Even though that mine's not maxed, I still go ahead and use him because he's incredibly important, especially for this strategy. Then we're on Rene Ven. She has Enchantress, Berserker, and Wonton. I just didn't have anything else to put on her, so I went ahead and just put some survivability A's, but they're not needed. The only thing that's needed is a Berserker A. And I will just wanted to go ahead and show what the Sniper Tower level was. Sniper Tower is level 15, so it's not a high level sniper by any means. But that'll about wrap it up, and may the odds be ever in your favor.